So this is very rough and ready. I got out of the shower not that long ago and I hate drying my hair. So we're gonna have damn hair and that's okay. So welcome, hi everyone, welcome back. This is the St. James YouTube channel, which you'll know because you clicked on the St. James YouTube channel. Welcome back. Uh, my name is Ruth, I am the youth worker here. And today I'm really excited to talk about the next line in the Lord's Prayer. So if you watched last week, you will know that we started a brand new series about the Lord's Prayer. I'm still trying to come up, with like, come up with like a name that's more exciting than that, but I'm not there yet. So, series about the Lord's Prayer. So last week we looked at our Father who art in, our who art in heaven. What have I ever said who art in heaven? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And today we're going to look at the next line, which is, if this was like an in-person youth group, I would 100% be asking you the next line, but there's no one here to answer my question. So, why do I feel awkward? So the next line is, your kingdom come. So, we talk a lot about God's kingdom and I spent ages trying to work out what I was gonna to say today, but I realized the reason I don't really know is because I don't really understand God's kingdom or the kingdom of heaven. And at first I was like, oh no, I must find out everything I can. But also it's okay to not have all the answers and it's okay to be like, this is a really big one and I don't know everything. So in the Lord's Prayer, we literally say, bring the kingdom to us. We want the kingdom here now. But like, what, what are we asking for? What is God's kingdom? So as I always do, I went straight to my good pal, Google, and I, <laughs> And I tended to Google the definition of kingdom and it said a country, state or territory ruled by a king or a queen. So think about the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is England, Scotland and Wales and these are all separate countries that come together and are united by the fact that the queen is the ruler in all of them. Of course if you get to politics the queen is the ruler of a lot of countries but the United Kingdom is those three and that's a kingdom. Is that like God's kingdom? Not really. And also the United Kingdom isn't really united, but that's not important right now. This is not a politics video. But when you think of a kingdom, you think of things that are really grand, um, really important, full of important people wearing top hats and those little eye things that like sit here, like, you know, suited and booted, ready to go. But that's not what God's kingdom is like. I've been filming for five minutes and I don't think I've said anything of worth. <laughs> okay. I remember first thinking fully about the kingdom of God in my church that I grew up in. I was probably around seven and I remember they got an adult to the front and they got a kid to the front and this kid was probably a few years younger than me, maybe two years younger than me, three years younger than me. And they asked the adult like a bunch of questions. One of the questions was, do you understand the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven? And they said, no, because there it's hard to understand. There is so much going on there. So they went and they asked the same question to the really little kids and the kids says, yes. The kids are like, yeah, I understand. And that was really interesting to me because I don't understand the kingdom of heaven and I don't think I understood it back then. But I definitely didn't understand. I think I knew I didn't understand. And but this is something that we ask for all the time whenever we say the lord's prayer which we realized last time was thousands of times is it complicated the kids didn't think so the kid just saw the kingdom of heaven as something awesome that was coming and the adult stopped and was like well how does this make sense what about this what about this like this doesn't make sense to me i don't understand this part there's all these things that just come into play as you get older and you're like I don't understand and we're not very comfortable with not understanding I know that I'm not and I want to understand everything and I want to know why things are like that I want to know what happens next and I want to know when things are gonna happen and you could say that I'm a control freak I probably am and I know that at the moment with lockdown impending in two days or whatever it is three days I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know how long lockdown's gonna be. And that's really hard to deal with. And I'm sure you're feeling the same, just stressed and anxious and all of those feelings. 
and I don't have the answer about that but I do have the answer that God God's kingdom will come one day and that's gonna be awesome so I don't understand it but it's coming I don't understand lockdown but I do understand lockdown I'm like it's circles today I don't know what's wrong with my brain I have a Bible verse maybe this will help so I'm looking at Mark, one of the Gospels, so Mark chapter 10. So the Bible verse goes, unless you accept God's kingdom in the simplicity of a child, you'll never get in. So I don't know when you're a kid, if your mum goes, okay, get in the car, it's time to go. You would just get in the car. You wouldn't know where you're going necessarily, but you'd just get in it because your mum told you to and you know that your mum's looking out for you and that's awesome. That's kind of what God's kingdom is like for me. I don't really understand it, don't know where it's going, don't really know much, but I know who's driving that car and I know that God's driving that car and I know that it's God's kingdom and that is the important part, you know? Okay, I think that's it. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye.